Hey, it's Joel, the 3D printing nerd, and it's almost Independence Day here in the States. And to celebrate, I've got a cool model to share with you and print. Of course, there's a time lapse, and I'll show you the settings with how I printed it. But in order to do that, we need to get started. So let's do this. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> Ah, welcome back. So like I said, Independence Day is coming up here in the States and I had a really cool opportunity put in front of me. Michael, the so-called marketing guy for Mixed Dimensions says, we have this really cool model. We saw that you printed some of our other models and shared them socially and we thought it would be cool if you could print this one. They're of course talking about the Mother's Day model that I printed on my Lulzbot Mini using eSun's HIPS material. I thought, well, that's great. I'm glad you saw that. So they sent me the model to print and I did a test print on the Mini and here it is. This is their Bald Eagle model for July 4th here in the United States, our Independence Day. It turned out fantastic. This is eSun Hips. This is printed on the Lulzbot Mini and I think this is a good print. No supports, um, just, a, just a good, easy, printable model. Uh, I, I really wanted to print it bigger though. I wanted to print this bigger and I wanted to I wanted to print it in a different material. So I brought the model into Kura for Ultimaker and I loaded the Ultimaker with Colorfab's bronze fill material. That's pretty exciting. First, I'm gonna take you to Kura and show you the settings I used to print it. And then of course, I will show you the time-lapse and then there is a result you may not be expecting, yeah. Oh well. Well, let's get started with Kura. Here you see the model in Kura, and it's it's a little bit big. I I did size it up a bit. It's at 155 percent scale. Looks like it's going to consume a fair amount of the Z height of the Ultimaker 2 Plus. I set the profile for fast print, but then I changed uh, some of the things. I went with a 0.2 millimeter layer height, 18% infill density. I've got 60 millimeters per second with print speed and 150 millimeters on the travel speed. That Ultimaker can move that head around like crazy. I did change the settings from a brim to a skirt, uh, and I'm using the 0.4 millimeter nozzle right now on the Ultimaker. I do have a choice to use 0.6 or 0.8, but right now I'm using 0.4. Once that's done, I can save it to file. Of course, it says it's going to take nine hours and it says it's going to use 14 meters of filament. That's not too bad. It's set to PLA. I've got ABS or CPE here in the drop down. Cancel. Uh, I set it to PLA because the color fab exotics that I've used seem to print at PLA temperatures, so I'm not too worried about that. I went ahead and saved it to the SD card. I put the SD card in the Ultimaker and then I printed it. Do you want to see a time lapse? Well, let's do it. Are you ready? Time lapse. That was a pretty cool time lapse, right? That's the first time lapse I've done on my Ultimaker 2 Plus, and that's the first time I've ever run exotic material through it. I do have some micro Swiss plated nozzles on the way for my Ultimaker, and I'll, I'll of course put those in and let you know how they work, but for now, here's the model. It turned out really good. Oh no! Ah, oh. <laughs> oh, this isn't even the worst of it. <laughs> I messed up big. Ah, oh, crap. First of all, it looked fine and dandy on the build plate. It looked just like this. It looked just like this. And then I, I took the glass out of the old tea maker and I was trying to get this release from the glass and it was not coming off the glass. Not one bit. I tried using all the techniques I could try. 
Uh, eventually it started to just peel away and then I was left with my own failure right in front of me. Man, dang it. And then, because it kind of fell off the build plate a little bit, the wing clipped the ground and fell down too. But, look at, I mean, I could, I could glue that. That's not a problem. I'm not worried about that. And this bottom piece, I could glue that and polish it. So imagine this, imagine this glued and polished and just, and just looking awesome. I think uh, this is pretty cool. Here's what's interesting about that color fab bronze material. This is heavy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, this is heavy. Ah, uh, but this is a good model. If you would like to print this in celebration of the United States upcoming Independence Day, then the model is available in a link down below. It's actually in the printable section of makeprintable.com. That makes sense, right? I'd love if you print this, please tag me socially if it, if you post it to Twitter or Facebook. I'd love to see how this turns out for you. I'd also like to know what settings you used and what material you would use because that's that's kind of just as interesting in itself. Caw, caw, caw. It always, always sucks to have a print failure, but thankfully in this situation, my print failure is easily fixed. I just need a little CA glue and then I should be good to go, especially the base. It's a little crunchy, but uh, no one's going to look at the bottom and I can seal up the sides. I think my problem was the Ultimaker build plate. I've been using glue stick on it. And if you look at this picture right here, then yeah, I, I think I used a little too much. Hey, no judging. I used a little too much and this was using my uh, a flat blade to kind of scrape it off and it just it shaved. I was essentially shaving glue off the glass plate of my Ultimaker. I do have some wolf bite and I've got Hairspray. I was talking with Barnacles, and he said uh, he said to dust it with some hairspray. And so I, I just need to go find myself some Aquanet, and I'll be good to go. But regardless of all of that, the Ultimaker did a great job. The Color Fab filament looks fantastic. The failures were my own stupidity, and this is a beautiful model for you to print. Well, there we go. Thank you very much for watching this short little video. I really appreciate it. Give it a thumbs up or leave a comment if you have any questions. As always, you can find me socially. I've got links down in the description. Throw me a dollar via Patreon if you want. If you don't, that's totally fine as well. All I really ask for is social high fives. And speaking of those, as always, high five. Is Joel Telly and he's printing 3D like some Pokemon, a gun from Destiny. And when you call him a nerd, he'll stand up proudly because he's packing some heat from his YouTube family. He can review printers till he falls to the floor. Then he'll give them away like Oprah in 04. There's the Wombat, Volsbot, G Max XT, then a break for Red Bull and Lobo's Taco Crispy. Printed koozie in his hand for his drink. He sets up his GoPro and prints out a bender bang. So send him a dollar to put in his head or a self addressed envelope for a sticker instead. There's a nerd vlogs on boxes and cues and names, and he'll open your mail every single Friday. And of course you can't forget that pancake bot and filament sonic fees and Joel's a little sign. And they printed this printer at Holodex Studio like Lando Calrissian who's tried Han Solo. So show your support on Patreon or subscribe and as always, high five.